bright duty every student matters the question and answers which we can get from this topic the dash and dash came into india through the passes in the mountain of the northwest so just now i took their names turks and afghans mahmud of ghazni attacked kanauj and defeated mahendrapala state true or false what do you say is it true or false it is clearly false you can simply see mahendrapala was not a ruler of pratiharas so during that time kanauj was under the control of pratiharas so that is the wrong answer why did kutubuddin and uh, yes sorry before this i would like to ask that uh, uh, yes we have done that who was the king during that time in kanauj when we were doing the uh, part of his campaigns or his battle we have done the very important one battle of tarai and then we then we saw the uh, the battle of chandavar so chandavar who was the king during that time in kanauj uh, it was jaychand so that is why mahendrapala is wrong answer now let's look into the next question which is why did kutubuddin aibak take over from muhammad of ghori take over from muhammad of ghori because after his death when muhammad ghori died he was he because before that during the time of muhammad ghori he was the governor governor and after his death he became independent because now there is no control over him there is no authority over him so he took the advantage and he became the independent ruler of the area why did mahmud of ghazni attack india mahmud of ghazni attack india why because of two reason first he got the information about india that the temples in india are heavily loaded with wealth and so resources so first for the temples first for the temples and second why so that he can strengthen his army and beautify his empire now which temple did mahmud of ghazni loot looted in 1025 so that is the somnath temple how was mahmud muhammad of ghori different from mahmud of ghazni so the clear difference is there muhammad ghori muhammad of ghori was here to conquer the land so his policy was to expand and ghazni was here for loot the wealth so this is the clear difference between these two rulers who was defeated in the first battle of the rhine so it was muhammad of ghori and who was uh, defeated in the second battle of the rhine it was mahmud of uh, sorry it was prithviraj chauhan so muhammad ghori defeated in the first battle of the rhine from prithviraj chauhan and in second prithviraj chauhan was defeated by the muhammad of ghori and finally who got succeed uh, who succeeded in this it was muhammad of ghori and there is a reason which i would like to explain here that although prithviraj chauhan was a very very powerful ruler and these rajput kings were very very powerful 
after that also how these turks and afghans enter into this into our subcontinent how they established their control over this area how they looted wealth from this area because there was rivalry among the rajput kings they never supported each other they were always in a conflict with each other when the battle of terrain was going on between prithviraj chauhan and muhammad of ghori no rajput king assisted their help towards prithviraj chauhan and he himself fought against of the muhammad of ghori if they could all join together and they fought back to these turks and afghans then maybe the history would be different but this didn't happen in past who occupied the highest position in the caste system so it was brahmans the women chose a husband in which event now this is the uh, this point comes under the society during uh, this uh, this early medieval time period one thing i would like to explain here that is the women of the higher caste they were still having that position in the society but the women in the lower caste they were not even having their human rights women belonging to kshatriyas kshatriya caste they were having right to choose their Uh, man so that is that process held through the swayamvar so swayamvar is the uh, basically uh, you know event in which women choose a husband so you will write here swayamvar the vassal who is subordinate to the king was so here you will write samant samant who was the author of geeta govindam so just now i have mentioned it is jayadev so jay dev so that's all for today's session thank you so much